Fuzzy cognitive mapping enables us to investigate complex systems, their internal dynamics, and their evolution. The components of a system are not perceived as separate entities, but as interdependent parts. Fuzzy cognitive mapping is particularly useful to understand how and why complex systems change. Since all the components of a system are connected and each connection has a specific level of strength, transformations in one component can lead to unpredicted variations in all the other components. For instance, if in our sheep farm the number of sheep increases, then the amount of cheese proportionally increases because more milk is produced. On the other hand, a higher number of sheep requires more fodder, so the amount of available grassland decreases. The farmer gets more revenue from the cheese, but they have to invest some of their revenue and labour to preserve the grassland. These complex connections explain why the herder's wealth does not increase as much as we would think by looking at the increment in cheese production. The main advantage of the fuzzy method is that it enables us to explore alternative scenarios and their possible effect on the system. For example, what would happen to the pastoral system if grassland was protected against sheep grazing? Or what would happen if local dairy products were promoted through national marketing campaigns? Or what would happen if sheep were kept only for meat and wool and no milk was produced? The example described here is very straightforward and we do not really need this simplified exercise to understand the structure and transformations of this farm. However, fuzzy cognitive mapping is particularly effective when we want to investigate very complex systems with lots of components and connections especially if we want to simulate alternative scenarios and evaluate their possible outcomes. Fuzzy cognitive mapping can be useful to promote group discussion and develop inclusive decision making. For example, a group of herders can use the method to find ways to grow their business without damaging the environment or to discuss new government guidelines and their possible effects on sheep farming. Fuzzy cognitive mapping is applied in different fields to address different questions. In the Packers project, it is used to understand how transhumans the seasonal movement of flocks has influenced the development of European landscapes and how we can protect and manage these landscapes in a sustainable way. This will be our case study to understand how fuzzy cognitive mapping can be used in landscape research and heritage management. To recap, Fuzzy cognitive mapping is a method to visualize complex systems and their internal relationships, as well as to model how these systems react to change. It can be applied to small or large systems, and it is often used in participatory decision making.